Hello, you are most welcome. Yeah, it's Henry the Computer Guy. And in this video, we are going to be designing a simple certificate in Microsoft Publisher. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the real practice and see how we can work out this. So what we are going to do first is to create a folder onto our desktop that is going to be holding our certificate. So what we can do now is to locate any free space onto our desktop right click onto our mouse then come to the option that says new then click on the option that says folder and having clicked on that folder we have to give it a name for example i'm going to be calling it sat so that we can save our certificate into that folder you can as well be able to drag this folder to any location of your choice and having done that we can now open our microsoft publisher Remember for my case, I've already pinned it onto my taskbar. I'm just going to click on it, then it will open for me. And having clicked on it down here, it will take me to this section where we have getting started with Microsoft Office Publisher 2007. It has different sections here. For example, on top here, we have the file, we have the edit, the view, and all these ones are called the tabs. Down here, we have what we call the publication types, for example, the blank page sizes, the templates, for example, the adverts, award certificates, banners, blockers, and so many others. Then in the middle here, we have the popular publication types, and we also have the blank page sizes here, the blockers, business cards, and so many others. And on the right here, we have the recent publications. In case you have worked upon a publication recently, it will be listed under this section. So having explained our interface, let's now begin with our blank page size because we are going to be working our certificate from scratch. So I'm going to be selecting the blank page sizes. And having clicked on it, it is going to give me a variety of the different page sizes that I can work with. For example, I'm going to be selecting uh, A4 landscape. And having clicked on it, uh, actually I can as well be able to make some different customization onto this page. For example, the color scheme, I can come and decide to change the color scheme from here. I can also change the font scheme from here. Then I can also add in some business information. I'm just going to come to the option that says create. Having clicked on create, it will give me my blank page size that I'm going to be working with. So what we are going to do first is to save our certificate in the beginning. How are we going to do this? We are going to be coming to the option that says file. And having clicked on file, we are going to look for the option that says save. Then having clicked on our save, we are going to look for the location where we are going to be saving our certificate. Remember, we created a folder onto our desktop. So I'm going to be looking for that desktop. And having clicked on it, I'm going to be selecting my folder that I created, which was called SAT. So I'll be selecting it, then come to the option that says open. And having opened it, now they are telling me that I'm on the desktop under the folder called SAT. So I have to give my uh, certificate a name because it is going to be for games. Let me call it uh, games just like that. Then I can decide to click onto the option that says save. So when we minimize this, we are going to come and see whether that item exists into our folder. Let me right click and open. Come to the option that says open. And having open, our certificate is already saved into our folder. So let's go back and work out on our certificate. So what we are going to begin with is to put a title onto our certificate. For example, we are going to be working on a certificate for Vienna High School Kaboa. Whenever you want to write onto any blank page size here, we use what we call the text box. So if I wanted to write onto my blank page size here, I can work with a text box. But for my case, I'm not going to use a text box in the beginning. I want to use a word art because the certificate has to be attractive. So I'm going to come down here, I click on to insert word art. And having clicked on it, they're going to give me the word art gallery. I can decide to choose any of the formats I can work with. Let me leave it on the first one here. Then I can say, okay. And having clicked okay, they're going to tell me to put my text here. I'm going to be putting, for example, Vienna. Hi, school, Kabua. 
So after that, I can make some different changes here. For example, I can make it bold, I can make it italic, I can change the size, I can even change the font. For example, let me change the font from here. Let me say I can look for what we call Timers New Roman. Then I can decide to click OK. And having clicked OK, this is what exactly I'm having. So I can decide to put it at the top here. Now, when you look here, we have our margin guides close to our word. We can decide to push these margin grids to the edge of our pages. So what we are going to do is to come to the option that says Arrange. Then click on to the option that says Layout Guides. Then I can decide to make some modification here. For example, if I put a certain size here, for example, 0. Point, let me say 0. 0.787, then I can decide to copy this on all the other uh, sizes. For example, let me click on to Control C. I come here, Control, Control V, then Control V, then Control V. So I'm going to come and say OK. So now you're seeing that the margin guides have been extended to the edges of the page. So I can now decide to push my word at the top here such that I can balance the page. Now down here, when you click onto this word art, you're going to see that they are going to give you options you can work with. For example, we can go back to the word art gallery. We can come and change that or edit the text. We can come to more options. We can come to changing the color, the format and others. We can even decide to change uh, the shape, for example. When I come here, I can decide to use the wave one. So you're going to see that it changes the, 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 the way it is actually aligned here. So let me make it a little bit big, just like this. So this is what we are exactly having now. I can decide to put in the color there. For example, I want the color. I can come here and decide to choose any color. For example, let me choose from here. Then I'll come and say, OK. So that is the color that I've chosen. I'll click OK. So my word has been changed. So that is what we have for now. Now I want to make my certificate uh, look nice. I'm going to be putting uh, some images here. For example, I've already kept some images I'm going to work with down here. Let me click onto my folder. I bring the badge for the school, Control C. Then I come here. I paste it here, which is Control V. I can as well decide to resize it, for example, making it smaller. Then I can put this one into this corner here. So this is what I'm having. Let me make it a little bit uh, big, just enlarge the size. Then I can go and get another image. For example, it's going to be for sports. Then let me copy this, Control V. Then I can decide to resize it again. Then I can move it to the right of my page, make it a little bit small, uh, just like that. I can decide to also resize my word at. Let me see, I put this one close here. So that is what I'm having for now. I can push it at the top here. So you can as well be able to preview your work before even continuing with other, other items. Let me click on print preview and see how it will look like. This is what we have exactly. So I'm going to come and close, then we can continue with our certificate. So I want to put in some other words. I'm going to be looking for what we call a text box. Then I can draw that text box where I want to write my words. For example, I want the words to be down here. So I'm going to put my text box here. Then I'm going to be pressing enter till when I feel I want to write somewhere. So it is just here. I make it a little bit down, I can press enter, then it goes down. So I need to put some words here. For example, I can put the motto. Let me say I want the motto to be, let's say, at a size 15. I can come here, then type 15. It increases in, in size. I can as well decide to put it in the middle by clicking onto this option for the center. Then I can write my motto. Let's say I'm going to write my, my motto. So my motto is going to be, let's say, uh, Eva, hard work. Eva, hard work. Then I can decide to change the color if I want. If I don't want, I can press enter to go to the next line. Then I put other characters. For example, I want to put P, P, O, box. 
your box then i can decide to put in let's say six five three six then i can put a comma then i say kampala then i can decide to also put the telephone number here i can say tell then i can decide uh, to put some space there then i can put the telephone number for the school That is one i can say to leave some space and put another telephone number zero seven uh, five three uh, eight five let's say two five uh, seven five but you can put any telephone number of your choice then i can come down i can decide to put the email for example it is going to be vienna hs kavoa at gmail or i can use yahoo yahoo.com so we have put all this we can now decide to make some different changes for it for example let me highlight this i can put it in a different color for example i can make it bold i can even come and change the color uh the font color i can put it to blue i can uh, let's say highlight this one i make it bold I can leave it to let's say 16 let me put it this one to 16 i can even leave it in color black i can even change this one uh, to any size of my choice let me make it uh, 17 uh, then i can just change the color if i feel i want that is what i'm having for now so i can decide to push my text box closer to my email so that is already done we can preview and see how it will look like so this is how it will look like when printed so now let's go back and put in some other uh, words there for example we want to put let's say certificate of participation i'm going to command uh, click on insert text box then i can decide to draw my text box just down here so i can increase the size to let's say 50 because i want it to be a little bit uh, big let me make it 50 then i write uh, certificate let's say of party participation then i can decide to put it in the center i can decide to highlight it and change let's say uh, the font let's say to let me come and say bodoni bodoni black then i can say to press enter then it appears just like that so let me change the color for this one to put it to red so that we can have it looking nice and decide to go to custom colors and i can choose a red color from here let me choose this one or close here then i can say okay if i feel i want so that it can look nice so we can preview again and see how it will look like so we have Vienna High School, Kavoa, uh, we have some information there, then certificate of participation. Let's add in some information down here. For example, this is to certify. So I'll command pick my text box again. So I can decide to change uh, this one to 39. Uh, let's say I can put it in the center. Then I say this is to certify that so i can leave it just like that i can make it bold depending on how i want my information to be let me make it bold just like that then i can as well decide to push this text box a little bit up just like that and decide to click onto this one again then i push it a little bit up then I want to utilize my space very well. So having put this one, I have to put where someone's name will be written. Let me get a text box here, then I drag it down here. So I'm going to increase this one to a different size. I can say, let's let it be 27. Then I can say, I'm going to put the dashes where someone's name will be written, just like that. So when we preview this information, it will be just like that. So we are going to be putting someone's name onto that line. So we go back and add in our characters again. So down here, we need another text box to write some words there. For example, uh, 
This is to certify that, let's say, Henry the computer guy uh, participated in games and sports. So we are going to be giving this one, let's say, size of 28. And we can as well decide to change the font to, let's say, Comic. Uh, comic Sans. Just like that. So I write and say, participate. Participated in, let's say, games and games and sports and emerged and it emerged as the then let's put this one in the center just like that we push it a little bit up we want to utilize our space very well just like that so we can preview and see how it will look like just like that it looks nice then having done that we come and put, let's say, and imagine as the best male player in ICT class. Let's just get another text box to make them different. So I can decide to change the color. I can decide to change the size. For example, I can put this one to 28. Then let's say best. Call it best. Let's say male player in ICT class of 2023. We can decide to put this one in bold. Let me highlight it. We put it in the center, we make it bold. We can as well decide to change uh, the font. Let's say to snap, snap, just like that. We can give it a color just like that so this is now what we have so we have to put signatories to this certificate for example the head teacher the sports teacher and others so let me come and get my text box here i'll come and draw it just close here that is what we have then i can decide to press enter because i want to put the head teacher here and you say, I'm going to be using a size of a 16. Then I can decide to put head. Head teacher. Then having done that, I can decide to put this one in. Uh, I can decide to make it bold. I can decide to make it bold. I can decide to put it in the center. Then above here, I want to put some uh, lines where someone can really sign. For example, let me make it just like this. I can decide to also make them bold. I can decide to make them bold for them to be visible. So we can preview and see how it will look like. So what I'm going to do, I have to put this one to uh, also this side. Let me copy this one. Control C. Then Control V. I drag it and put it to this side. Because I want them to be similar, then I can change this one. I can change this one to, let's say, sports. Sports teacher. Just like that. I can decide to make them uh, red make them red then we can now decide to preview how it will look like so this is what we have someone is going to be signing here someone is going to be signing here it looks nice so what we are going to do now is to put in some another some other image here we come here and copy one image Control c then come and paste it here Control v i want it to come just close down here this is what we have. I'm going to put it a little bit here in the box. Then I can copy it again. I paste it on the other side. Drag it and paste it this side. Then I can decide to send it backward. Right click, then order, then backward. Remove this. Then I come, I right click, order, then backward. Such that the Head teacher and the sports teacher can as well be able to sign here as well as we have an image there. So we can come and preview our certificate and see how it looks 
So this is how our certificate looks. So now what we are going to do is to put a border onto our certificate. There are different ways we can use to put uh, borders here. So what I'm going to do is to duplicate this uh, certificate. Then we can use the two types of borders we can uh, put here. For example, I'm going to come to my page here, right click on it, then come and say insert duplicate. Now we have two of them. So I'm going to be using the two formats to put the borders. So first of all, what I'm going to do is to come to what we call the design gallery object and I click on it. And having clicked on it, I'm going to come to this section and look for the borders. And having looked for the borders, I can select any type of border I want. Let me choose the open border. Then I can say insert. And having inserted it here, uh, let me first of all make it a little bit smaller so that we can see what we have. So I'm going to be putting it exactly close to my page edges of the page then i'll see how it looks like just like that then this one i can push it a little bit to the edges here again then i can push it up here again just like that so this is the border that we have let me preview and see how it will look like so when we preview it looks just like this so we can as well push it a little bit inside for it to be visible just like that a little bit inside then we can push this one a little bit down then this one a little bit down just like that then we can preview and see how it looks like again preview so this is our certificate so let's also try the second option and see how we can put another border so let me come to my page two then i come to my insert text box then i drag my text box from the edges of the page size that i have outside and having done that i'm going to come to the option that says line stroke border styles then i'll come to more lines and having come to more lines i'm going to be uh, selecting the border art after selecting my border art i'm going to be looking for the uh, design that i really want to use for example if i scroll down i'm going to be using the zigzag option then click on it and having clicked on it i want to give it some color so i will come to the line color down here then i can decide to choose a color of my choice for example i want to make it green then I can do this, then it will look just exactly like this. We can as well zoom and see how it will be or how it will look like. So this is how it will look like. But we can as well decide to increase the weight by double clicking on it. Come to our weight here. We can make the weight as 20, 25. Then you can say, OK, so this is how it will look like. Let's preview and see how it looks like. So this is how our certificate is going to look when printed onto our paper. So you can come and say to put a name here, then you print your certificate the way you feel you want. So this is actually how we can be able to create a certificate into Microsoft Publisher. So we can as well decide to click onto our save option such that our changes have been saved. So now, having done that, we can as well decide to open them as a PDF. For example, if I close this one here, I'm going to come, let's say, yeah, I, can, I want to close, then I can minimize this, then come to our folder that we created earlier, we open it. Then our certificate is here. I'm going to open it with uh, Microsoft Publisher 2010, right click, come to the option that says open with, then I can say to open it with publisher 20 2010 so let's give it time to open so this is how it will look like here so we have the first page here the second page here then we can decide to save this one as a pdf again into our folder by coming to this option that says file then come to the option that says save as when you click on save as of course we can come and look for our desktop then look for the folder called SAT, then we can save our publication. But under the save as type here, we have to choose PDF. Then we come and say save. 
So our certificate is going to be saved as a PDF. So we're going to be looking at how it looks like. So when we make this a little bit small, so this is how our certificate will look like. So you can as well be able to print your certificate the way you feel you want. So it's been Henry the Computer Guy. And if I told you new to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to always be notified when a new video has been uploaded. Bye-bye. I sign out.